Ring, 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 ring. Is Alex. Hey, Alex, this is Cody with uh, Mad Cow Steakhouse. How you doing? I'm good. How are you, Cody? Uh, doing well, man, over here. You know, just another Thursday before Friday, you know. But anyway, I got your number. I just wanted to see if, you know, we could set up some time. I would love to just demo our new steaks for you. Steaks? Like, are you talking lawn steaks or are you talking meat steaks like meat like straight from a cow straight from you know from the butcher's knife oh uh bro i'm i'm i apologize you must have got my number from a wrong source because i'm i'm vegan the whole family's vegan been that way for about three years well we got vegan steaks too i mean they're you know not they're not from a cow obviously they're vegan but i mean they, they might come from Virginia. They're, they're vegan cows, too. You know, I'm saying I'm just saying I'm just trying to save some steaks, sir. I really got to hit my quota. Can you not hang up on me? Yeah, maybe maybe next year, buddy. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, guys, that's usually how a cold call goes. It's sucky. You know nothing about the buyer. You just assume that you can make a sale because you got a list, a name, a contact. And you went forward. I have with me the executive sales professional himself, Alex Brockman, also on ABC Chats on LinkedIn. Um, and we're just want to start off. We have an amazing podcast coming that will be live streaming. I want you guys to tune in 7, 13, 20 at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. But we really did this first to try to give you some insight. We want to cover a series called Salesology. We're going to be hitting you for the next few weeks on what organizations need to do versus what they are doing versus what they need to stop. So I just want to throw it to my man, Alex. Alex, before you make that first call, what should the organization do? Before you make the first call, so are you talking about like, hey, I just got hired into, you know, Cody Kelly Enterprises. Yep. What's the first thing I need to do before picking up the phone for the first time? Yep. And I... You know the the product thing. You know, a lot, I think a lot of people focus on training and and putting people through just you know weeks and weeks of learning what it is that they sell, as opposed to I would say that probably the the first thing that actually needs to be done is instead of learning all about all the different things that uh, you sell, figure out what's going on in the industry that you're selling into. I think that there's a there's a whole miss that people are just trying to shove product at people, services, things that they do, and they're missing the mark because they don't know what it is that the customer or the prospect actually wants. And so there's this whole mentality and whole method about actually understanding what that is in that landscape and understanding that process. I think that's going to be the whole thing that people need to figure out how to train people on that as opposed to what you're selling and just hoping that activity drives pipeline, which will drive bottom line eventually. So that's that's kind of my understanding of it. Totally agree. Totally agree. I like to add in this and you can, you know, just check me if I'm off a little bit. Also, understanding what are or the makeup of your organization, right? Like it's one thing to learn a PowerPoint presentation. It's another thing to effectively communicate the language of the company, but understanding who handles the agreement process review, who handles the litigation, who handles the actually design and development of the product that you're selling, understanding not the group to send a mass email to, but the person that's actually responsible for implementation takes time. That's why it is so silly yeah. to make an evaluation under really nine months because it takes you about a full year to learn how the company works. So before you yeah. make that first call, let's start with training. Yeah, absolutely. Man. You know, there's, there's a lot of people that are doing this really well and they're basically sticking new people, just hanging out with people that have, you know, been successful agents and they're putting them on rotations. They have doing it where you have a mentor, you have, you know, somebody that is kind of showing you the ropes. Hey, these are the guys that are doing specific things. And then you show them a diverse audience, a diverse skill set, you know, and then help them pick up things and make it uh, make it theirs. So I could go learn from seven different people, seven different styles of executing kind of the same uh, the same track. But everybody's got their own nuance to it. And so along the way, that has been something that I've picked up on as the the 
biggest ways that I've learned and jumped uh, to the next. And, you know, I've gotten paired up with some of the guys that have been in the industry for 30 years. I get to see the things that are really successful that they do. And then also kind of see how it is that I can, you know, automate some of that and also try and bring some modernization to it because, you know, guys that have been doing it or, or gals that have been doing it for, you know, 20 years, 30 years, you know, are, are still using heavy, like, group emails and just shoving emails out the door and seeing what comes back as opposed to some personalization using video using uh different engagement styles and kind of sequences so you know reaching out but there's this whole kind of new wave that's going out and so there's there's a whole bunch of different things that you can try but putting somebody just right in the middle of hey here's here's the process you know go be successful um, that's why turnover in this, in this industry is still pretty high. Awesome. Awesome. Look guys, we're going to get into it. It's going to be an amazing series. The next episode, we're going to deal with actually placement hot and hiring compensation. We want to make your organization great. We want to teach you really what sales and forming partnerships is about because it has to be trust between the buyer and the person actually selling to them. You have my man, AB, hit him up on LinkedIn, co-host of ABC chats. Look, it's going to be fantastic. Tune in 7, 13, 20 at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We look forward to connecting with you.